Remember Jade from Dying Light 1? I know you do. And I know you loved her. But now someone else is trying to steal your heart. She's real badass in the world of Dying Light 2. And her name is La Wang. My name is Paulina and this is the next episode of Dying to Know More. Today, together with my guest, Timon Smektawa, we will be talking more about one of the most important characters in Dying Light 2, the human. Hi, Timon. Hi, Paulina. And Lawan, yes, she's a very interesting character. The same as the actress that plays her, Rosario Dawson. I think they are a great match together. Actually, that's really great that you've mentioned that, because we are all very intrigued. Why Rosario Dawson? Well, so Rosario is a talented actress, but also an amazing person. She's super tough and super confident with whatever she does. And she is also aware of her influence as an activist. So from the first minute of the mock-up sessions with her, we knew that we have found a perfect person to become our Lawan. Okay, okay. But in one of the gameplay trailers that we've published, uh, Lawan had a completely different face. You know, blonde hair, ponytail, brown eyes. Exactly. But there's a very easy answer to that. We just wanted to keep it as a surprise, to avoid any spoilers before the official announcement. Yeah, that's actually very clever. Okay, so how much of Rosario is there in the one? A lot. So let me tell you, at first we just wanted to have someone that will be able to understand Lawan's personality and be able to play the character with authenticity. But as soon as Rosario started to work on that character, we realized that we need to change and expand our artistic vision due to all of the insights that she added to Lawan's attitude and behavior. That's actually amazing that Rosario herself had impact on our character. So why Lawan is so special? She has been through a lot, both good things and bad things, and she understands that every choice brings consequences. What's also amazing is that every decision she makes makes her stronger and more confident. Um, she acts with real audacity, ready to pay the price for her actions. But she can also pull back too, you know? Uh, oh, I don't think that she's a person who would pull back from anything. But actually she does. But the thing is that whenever she pulls back, that doesn't make her weaker. Well, she's a complex character, that's all I have to say. Does it mean that the player can affect her choices? Yes, in a way. So Aiden can trigger some of the things, some of the decisions she makes in the game. And so players can decide how they want to help or support her along this whole journey. But the thing is that no matter what they do, no matter what path they will take together, they can be sure that Lawan will be ready to face whatever awaits her. Okay, but what about her attitude? We all saw the scene at the rooftop with Aiden and it wasn't a smooth one. Well, definitely. Well, she speaks sharp as a blade and she has a lot of life to her. And she's also very focused on her goals. So she's willing to sacrifice everything to achieve them. She's also stubborn and fierce and impulsive. Okay, okay. Sounds like a troublemaker. Yes, perhaps she is. But what I like most about her is her personal growth as the game plays. And uh, there's actually a lot to learn about her past, about her relationships with other characters, as well as her famous to-do list. To-do list? Yes. To-do list. When I say that, I mean a list of people she wants to kill. Ah, I heard about her to-kill list. Yes, so you don't want to be on that one because she's a damn good fighter. And just look at the crossbow she's holding. She knows how to use that. She seems to be a person that you want to have nearby when the things get tough. Well, absolutely. She is a badass. Thank you, Timon, for joining me today. Thank you, Paulina. And as much as I love talking with you, I really can't wait what Lawan has to say herself. So, dear fans, Especially for you, Rosaria Dawson. I think that this role came my way because Loan is a very strong character. And she needs to be. She's gone through a lot. And to survive in, in this world in Dying Light, you have to be strong. But one of the things that I've always had as a mission in my work is to make every character that I play strong. Because I believe that sometimes maybe it's not obvious what makes someone powerful and unique, but you can find that in every single person who's determined to survive the day. You know, so good, bad, or ugly, 
we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And what's cool about this world and this game and this character is that it's up to you how Luan actually is strong. What? Is she full on and a badass and coming in hard and fast, you know? It really is up to you what you think is the best way for her to, to get through and, and achieve her goals. And I find that really fascinating and very revealing because I want everyone to experience the reality that anyone and everyone can be strong depending on what they choose to do. So the choice is yours. This has nothing to do with you. One of the things that I find the most exciting about being a part of this game is that as an actor, you know, I, I come prepared and I really research my roles and I talk it out and work it out with the writer and the director and the producers and figure out the tone and, you know, try to give as many options, obviously, to the editor and the director as possible. But, you know, I have still quite a lot of say so in how I move and speak and behave. And I find that actually really exciting that, you know, we're gonna do the whole screening and get my avatar in there in a really realistic way, beyond what fans from the original game have, have can even imagine could be coming their way with Dying Light 2. But I get to kind of experience seeing myself be committed and determined and my expressions and my voice and my energy do things that I wasn't expecting to do, that I didn't imagine doing. Dying Light fans, you know this from experience already, and Dying Light 2 is going to really hit this hard. What you do has consequences. Your actions have consequences. If you hesitate, if you are impulsive, if you have a strategy, are you working in a team? Like, whatever it is has consequences. That's important to know in game life, in an open world, or out here in the real world. And I love that. I think that responsibility is awesome.